Well, the, one of the other things I would put in the Wonder Box is record stores. Yeah. Or, I mean, maybe a record player if the Wonder Box is limited in size, but the idea of limited. like... That's... But the idea that you go, you buy the record, you get it home, you've got to turn it over every 22 minutes, whatever it is. Are you still a vinyl guy then? I like vinyl. I like yeah. vinyl. I, I don't use it as much as I should. Yeah. You know, music has become like a scented candle. Yeah. It's a music, I, oh, this is a great song. What is it? I don't know. Yeah, I had yeah. to say that the other day in my garden. Where that's great music on. I'm like, oh, what's this? It's great. Don't know. Yeah. Don't know. I have to look. I don't know. I know it's great. I, I, it's been on all summer, but uh, yeah. I, I used to know who the, who the photographer was for the sleeve. Yeah, yeah. It's funny that, isn't it? It's... I put more in and I got more out. Yeah. And I, th I can't figure out a way to put more in. Yes. Because it's, you're trying to spend more time. So buying vinyl is almost like um, uh, uh, sort of a, 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 a ritual where you're going, I, I value music. It well, means so much to me. That's the thing. And But we live in an era where music isn't valued because it's pe free. people don't pay. Well, that's the funny thing of like everyone's sort of like, oh, I really care about Lewis Capaldi's feelings. Well, not enough to buy his songs. You're forcing him to play live when he clearly struggles with that. So it's just bullshit. 79p for a song. Pay it, you fucking cheap shit. I hate Spotify. I'm, I'm an iTunes man all the way. I'll always buy it. I just can't. I, really? You know, yeah. See, I, I mean, I, for me, it's it's. I'm ruined by. It. I'm ruined by the fact that, like, but you can afford seventy nine p for a song. You like okay. the song. We should all pay for this. Like, it's so frustrating. It is, it, it is really interesting. The, the I've got a mate of mine that's had a billion hits of a song of his, and he's made like ten grand from it. It's just kind of mind blowing. Where yes, all the, the kind numbers. of money just. Goes. But also, it's that thing where books did the same thing. Yeah. So books went from going. There'd be maybe. Three, four hundred novelists yeah. that did pretty well every year. You know, and they sold uh, good good numbers of books. Yeah. And we've got that down to ten. Right, and yeah. musicians now, we sell the same amount of records we sold in the 80s. Yeah. Same amount of money in the business, but now it's ten people sell them. Yeah. It's like, I mean, and, and eventually, presumably, it will end up all being Taylor Swift. Yeah. It'll just be oh, do you like Taylor Swift? Do you like music? Yes, Taylor Swift. Yeah, yeah. It'll all be and she's and, extraordinary. And she's gonna, I'm she's not throwing to do any every, But she's gonna have to do every genre. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's a very talented lady. Yeah, but but, it but seems, I mean everything. It seems weird that there's no Y'all wanna hear some crime? Well, I think that's why the why the festival has become so big because people want you know, there's bands where you know the whole album. Mm. I mean, maybe it's our age. Maybe it's a, maybe two old dudes chatting, two old white guys talking about this. Yeah. Maybe it's the thing of like when you're when you're younger, you're putting more time in. But I, I, I get the feeling it's slightly more because the algorithm is showing you the hits. Yeah. And it's giving you that that fast, easy dopamine. You're not working for it. Can you remember the first song that that gave you that hit when you were a kid? Were you did you used to listen to the radio on a Sunday? You... We used to go and buy records from the Slough Record Centre on the Farnham Road with yeah. my mum on a Monday after school. Right. Because the records came out on the Monday. Wow. So we'd go and we'd and the guys in the store knew us and they, we'd play records in the store and that's good. That's good. Uh, and we'd buy like five or six records. Like I'd get one, my brother would get one, mum would get one. And we'd so go your mum's a big play, fan, music yeah, fan. Yeah, we'd play records and dance around. Like, but there's a lot of dancing around the house, so it was it was a big thing to kind of play music and and kind of, and pick to pick what your thing was. Yeah, you know, so it was like it would kind of be it was kind of the beginning of that thing where kind of a theme through this is identity. Yes, you know, and that the beginning of like going well, I, you know, it's not what you're like, it's what you like mm. that defines you. That that great line. And what um, kind of a dancer were you? Oh, horrific! I mean, un unbelievable. But like you would have to look, you you wouldn't be able to take your eyes off it. Yeah, and we all dance in a very similar way. Like my mum, it's hands up there. I've seen you do but, but that. Yeah, like, yeah. That, but that like my mum's exactly. She had exactly the same dance. That's so lovely. So weird, right? That, so I don't know what that, that is. It, you're almost like a very timid boxer, or you're uh, a tiny T-Rex. <laughs> yeah, tiny, like tiny a, little T-Rex. A knitting T-Rex. Yeah, you've kind of got that. Do you think that's why you? Maybe that's something to do with the vinyl that it sort of evokes your mum and it evokes that kind of. Again, fun. The, 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 I, mean, I think music as well as the. Um, I mean, I love lyrics. I yeah. love you know you, you kind of get Elvis Costellos and your and your, you know that thing of like poetry within songs because mm. we don't have poetry anymore. We now have songs. Yeah. So it's it's kind of replaced that, um, and I love it. But I think it's the nonverbals. I think it's what songs do for you. Mm. That's you know because it is it's, you know it's nonverbal communication. What even is it? It's this thing in the ether you're listening it's to. It's liquid emotion, isn't it? And you're, you're, you, and you, and it's so universal. Mm. Someone plays the B minor, and you sort of go, "Oh yeah, it's sad when people die, though, isn't it?" Yeah. What? 
I remember. The, 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 How is that being? Yeah, it's insane. Is it uh, who's the guy that wrote Captain Corelli's? Is it Louis de Bernier? Um, he said that he took the you know massive book, and he goes, "Yeah, it's not music though, is it?" <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it only right. works if you can if you can read. <laughs> Do you know what yeah. I mean? But you could just play the right tune, and it just—it's like that Coldplay song, "Here Jerusalem bells are ringing." Yeah. You know, and like, there's just a hundred thousand people kind of lost in that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's um, well, it's kind of tribal. I don't really think they're—they're they're a really good example of someone that's um, I don't know, consciously or unconsciously, but Coldplay seem to have had that thing where they go the, the chanty chorus. Yeah, that feels like tribal, and every song's about nature. If you look at all the kind of Coldplay lyrics, it's very like it's always to do with kind of the outside world like it's it's never it's always kind of broad and vague well, it's it's it always interested me to think about music if you think about our age as well the idea that we every painting and piece of music for 500 years was about god yeah and now everything is about love yeah and not to sound like a hippie but it's kind of the same thing isn't it yeah same thing well it's the same thing people are talking about They've just yeah. given, it, given it a different name. It's more palatable. Yeah. Not that I'm not an absolute atheist, but, you know. Haven't you written songs? Didn't you write a song with Robbie Williams? Yeah, occasionally. Uh, okay, so, I mean, t- that, that was, that I was, have, I it was have a great answer, and then it became an incredible answer. Yeah, yeah occasionally. What, yeah. what what was your song? The, uh, I, I don't know. I, don't, I think there's a couple. I don't think they were even on the album. I think, it, like, messing around. Just messing with my mates. How do you get into that world? Well, that was just hanging out. We were just friends and we were like hanging out at the house. Yeah. I go, we should do something. I'm going to be in the studio (laughs) and and sort of pitching lyrics because don't sing that. Sing this. It's funny. Just being, just being, I I believe the term, Danny Dyer used it very nicely. I met Danny, he was on our show and he was was there about half an hour before we went, think about you, Jimmy, you're a busy cunt. (laughs) I'm a busy cunt. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think he's nailed me. It's, it's like, I will, I'm a joiner in her. I'll yeah. always kind of go, oh, yeah, no, I've got an idea. I love little bits like that. I mean, Joe Cole, the footballer, um, he, we at Soccer Aid, he said a very similar story. He goes, I remember my dad said to me when I was 14, thing is, Joe, a lot of people are cunts. And he was right. <laughs> but, <laughs> nice. it's, but it's such a succinct world yeah. into something. They go, ah, that's, that's what your dad's like. Great, got it. Yeah. How interesting. So,